Hi friends, I just wanted to bring you out and show you how foggy it is. About noon now. This is De it's December 7th, Monday, and um, I'm doing a little Vlogmas video for you, putting it together, and um, yeah, look how foggy it is. And I've got my um, little, uh, little shawl that I made from some uh, fiber from Mary at Marquee Woolcrafts. She's up in Sligo. This is from, I'm pretty sure it's from her own sheep. It's Irish wool, definitely. She's hand dyed it and hand spun it and I made a little shawl. And I also have on, let's see, can you see? I've actually come out, let me do this. I'm one. wearing my little slippers and they are made by Igatone of Felt with Slash. And she has some products at uh, Irish Fiber Crafters, as does Mary from Marquee Woolcrafts. And I got these a few years ago. She's made these little slippers and they have a hard bottom so you can come outside. Can you hear the waterfall in the distance? I'm not sure. We're just waiting okay. on the delivery of the wood to make the bat roost. That may or may not come today because it's so foggy. So. All right, a little wagtail. And there's Mimi. There's the bird. How close will she come? Oh, Mimi sees it. She's not worried. I'm watching you. Yeah, I'm watching you. I'm so proud. I have to show you. I get out of the light. I'm so pleased. I managed to grow two little butternut squashes. This is the butterscotch variety. Uh, butter squash, butternut squashes take a while to ripen, so they're kind of hard to grow in our Irish climate. This variety has been bred to ripen a bit more, and I grew them in the polytunnel. I got two, and one more that's been in the polytunnel is not, it's probably not gonna ripen, but I had to take it out because of the frost coming. So anyways, that's just sitting there going, I'm not ripe, I was almost ripe. But these two ripen quite early. So I'm getting ready to cut them up and we're gonna roast them. I'm gonna roast them. And um, yeah, so I've made a Vlogmas, I'll turn this around. I've made a Vlogmas vlog today. And depending on how I get on with the squash, I might start making some mince for mince pies. So we'll see, we'll see how the day goes. I forgot to tell you guys what I meant to mention about this variety of butternut squash is you can see there they don't have all that seedy hollow inside quite so much. So I was going to stuff these with uh, blue cheese and kale and some things and breadcrumbs from our bread but <laughs> like they don't have the seed part that you'd scoop out normally so I'm going to do we have lots of other squashes that we grew and the itchy curry, I'm not saying that right, but the red curry squashes, they will be more suitable. So I'm just going to tube these up and uh, roast them and we'll do something with them just like that. So I've got the butternut squash drizzled in some olive oil. I've crushed some garlic to put in. I'm getting ready to put it in the oven. I'm, I'm listening. I'll turn this. I'm listening to Christmas FM, which is um, online live Irish Christmas radio station because I love Christmas and I'm a sucker. And do what are you guys' favorite Christmas songs? Like my favorites are the generally the old classics, like yeah, the crooners and all that. I love Harry Connick Jr. singing them too, but oh, they just played my grown up Christmas list. I think it's called, and every time. That song makes me so emotional. It literally makes my heart hurt. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, I really want that for our world, you know. Do you guys have any Christmas songs like that? Yeah, share them if you do. Right, okay. Happy holidays. Holiday songs in general, like they don't have to be Christmas. Actually, I'm so ignorant about, I'm sure there are other holiday songs that aren't Christmas songs. So I would really like to know about those ones. Yeah, if you have a suggestion, definitely 
leave it in the comments if you know of a, of a good holiday type song that isn't, you know, for this time of year, like if it's Kwanzaa. I mean, I just don't know a whole lot about those other traditions, really. I mean, I'm watching the Quirky Monday craft cast and she's made a wonderful jumper with the Kwanzaa symbols and she talks about that and it's really interesting. But yeah, I mean, like I only have a tiny bit of sort of surface knowledge about things. So yeah, if you have more knowledge and you'd like to share, please do. Righty oh, I've got, well, I've got my lovely Nigel Slater Christmas Chronicles book. I'm not really following his recipe for the mince at the minute. I'm just actually going to kind of sort of do my own thing. It's going to be an experiment to see, you know, what I like. Because I can't remember the last time I made mince, if I've ever made it. Mince for mince meat, like mince pies. It's not with actual meat, you know. Um, right, for, yeah, for Americans that don't know. And maybe just North Americans in general. I don't know if Canadians eat mince pies. But back in the medieval times, I reckon it was, that actually used to be meat. But nowadays it's just dried fruit and nuts and stuff. So I'm going to do raisins, sultanas, currants some figs. Uh, I'm going to squish up, uh, whiz my, some of my almonds and pecans into pieces. Have that. I've got my mixed spice lemon. I'm not using suet. I'm going to just use, uh, I'm going to grate some cold butter. I'm not using whiskey. I'm going to use some spiced rum. Got my cooking apple. Got my dark sugar mixed spice and cinnamon and yeah so we'll see we'll see how it goes yum yum fifty grams currants No, no, poison for dogs. No, 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 no. Those kind of dried fruits like grapes and all that. Raisins, sultanas, probably currants. What are currants? No, currants, I don't, anyways, they're poisonous for dogs. So just be aware. And a lot of nuts are poisonous for dogs too. So they definitely need to stay away from the mince pie and Christmas cake and stuff.
There's the mince meat. Mince. There's the sweet mince. Hard to see because it's starting to get dark outside now, but uh, it's pretty tasty. There's the mince meat. It looks terrible in the artificial light here, but anyway, that's there it is. It seems pretty yummy, so I'll make mince pies with it in a couple days.